guys what's up and welcome back to a new video and today uh, I've got a new window for scratch open because in the last episode we made a paddleball game and to tell you guys this I'm recording this video like one hour after that and like I've recorded three scratch videos so far like in like a span of one day uh, but yeah it's it's good uh, so I'm gonna delete this uh, uh, the sprite over here and we're making a maze game so a maze if for people you don't know what a maze is this is a maze you've got to solve it um, and I think I'm gonna make a multi-level maze game okay so I'm gonna go to the internet and I'm gonna get myself some mazes um, of course I'm gonna credit the person who uh, gave this I'm just gonna visit the site go over the dreamikus Dot com. I'll put links down in the description. I think this is the guy with the maze. Yeah. Okay. All the mazes are from here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this image here as maze one. I think that's like the first level for the maze that I should do. Uh, it seems quite easy. Uh, this should be level two. I feel. So maze number two, and this is from Puzzle House. Yeah, this is from puzzlehouse.com. Uh, this should be level 3, I suppose. Maze 3. And maybe I might include a level 4. So this is from I Can Learn. Alright. Okay. Simple enough. And this is... Oh, do I need to put this in? This is going to be level 5, I suppose. Let's see. Maze... Uh, no, this is level 4. Okay, I think four minutes are fine. This is from Ang Angurde.com. Okay. Angurde.com. Link down in, the, down in the description, guys. Anyways, now I'm going to open these mazes on scratch. I need to arrange this folder better. Okay, maze one. But no. No, no, no. Not from this. Uh, okay, no, not you. From this to this. Okay, open all of these. Alright, now, the thing is, I have to resize them. Where's maze number 3? Okay, let me resize them. So, let me hide this. Let me hide maze 2. Let me hide maze 3. So, now I've got all of my mazes left, okay? I have maze 1. Let me resize this maze. If that will work. Right, that should work. Yeah, and for stage, let me see what I can use. Um, new backdrop. Um, I'm gonna go for. I don't know which one should I go for. Maybe I'll go for blue sky too. Maybe that will look. Oh, this is not a PNG. All right, that will be fine. I can. Choose this color over here. Can I? Alright. And I can come to maze 1. I can fill that color in. Yeah. Alright, works. Good enough. Okay, now I need a sprite. I need a ball. Okay. Um, I need a ball that can go around in the maze. That's what you're going to solve. Um, maybe I won't use a ball. Maybe I'll use something else. Second thought, I'll use a ball. Okay, which color do I want this to be? Um, blue, yellow. Okay, yellow is good. Okay, uh, let me think. Okay, um, don't know what to do with it. Uh, okay, I'll just keep the ball here. And let me shrink that down a bit. Let me keep it there. That's the start of the maze. Alright, so this ball should now be able to go down. It should, yeah, it should be able to solve it. Okay. Now, let me delete all the other costumes. Um, so now what I want to uh, do with the ball is, whenever I click the keys, I want this ball to move. Let's say I click the side key, I want it to move side. Bottom key, go down. So that is very easy when the flag is clicked. I want this to repeat forever. Alright, forever. Um, I'm going to have an if loop. 
inside that if loop i'm going to press key space down or pressed and i'm going to put this to the up arrow and i'm going to put this change y by uh 10 to 10 to yeah okay 10 should do so in this case what is happening is whenever i uh, it's repeating this forever whenever i click the up space key it is going to change the y axis of the uh, the ball by 10 now you know the y and x axis it's going to go plus y 10 okay so look at that yeah now i can do the same thing for the bottom key i can do if space key down arrow i can do this minus 10 and that will allow me to go down not minus 0 minus 10 so i can go up i can go down i can go up down up down up down okay and I can do this for left and right as well. So I can go left arrow key, right arrow key. Uh, now in this, I don't want to change the Y, okay? I want to change the X coordinate. So I can do change X by 10, change X by negative 10. All right, so let's see how this works. Okay, I can go up and down. I can go left. Sorry, okay, this is becoming opposite. Okay, I need to change this left arrow by negative 10 and right arrow by 10 so that will work okay so now i can go up and down left and right now i can easily solve the maze okay but the problem with it is that i can go through the maze you don't want to be able to do that i can go through the maze not good so in order to fix that problem um what i want to do is i want to do an uh, another if no I want to put an if statement over here and if I want to put touching color and you want the color of the edges okay so if you have a multicolor maze it's probably not going to work because uh, let's say when this touches this color I want it to move back so I'm pressing the left arrow key and when it touches black I want it to go back okay so when touching color change x by minus 10 so if i press the right arrow that is i can't move okay let me make the ball smaller it's too big yeah i can't go i can't touch the black okay i can't do that i can go up and down because i haven't added a script for that but i can't touch it when i'm going towards the right okay it's not possible for me to do that see i can't go Okay, now let me just duplicate that. Duplicate, uh, no, not that. Uh, change x by 10. So it has to be opposite to this top one over here. I'm going to put this here. Uh, change y by those. This. So this is going to be change y by here is negative. So I'm going to make this positive. Add another one. This is positive over here. This thing is positive. So I'll make this negative. Alright. Let's see how that works. Make the board smaller, I think. That definitely is needed. Uh, when I start over here. Alright, let's start. Okay, now I can't go through. Okay, how much ever I try, I can't go through. And uh, yeah, this will allow you to actually be able to solve the maze. Okay, am I too small for that? Alright, I am. So instead of making the board smaller, I'm just going to delete a bit of this and I'm going to insert this color so now I'll be able to go you can even design your own custom mazes uh, no problem in that you can do that as well I'm just going to delete this wrap up over here fill that in now I can go through uh, can I solve it? no I can't okay delete this over here insert the color and I can't still go through um, let me delete half of this so let me delete that much all right now I'll be able to go what are you kidding me okay I'm gonna make the ball smaller look at that I came out okay and also if I stop this game and if I start it, I don't want the ball to start from here. I want the ball to go to this position in the beginning. So I can just go in the uh, stop and I can put go to minus 
198 is like rounding off the numbers and 20. Okay. What? No. Uh, come here. Minus 190. Alright. Minus 190. Okay. That should work. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, this ball is at minus one eight four. All right. Okay. Uh, are you kidding? Make the ball smaller. Make the ball smaller. Now, is it possible? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Works. I can go to the maze. Okay, now when I end the maze, when I come over here, okay, I want to know this position over here. Uh, this position right here. I'm going to put a green line over here. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to add a green line. Alright, right like that. So when this ball touches the green line, I want you to broadcast a message. That you win or whatever so if touching green if touching color green okay that color then I wanted to broadcast a message message one okay and here you've got the first level complete now just repeat this for the second level um, so when I receive so when this is clicked show so whenever the thing is clicked i want it to show and when i receive message one that means this mate has been completed i want to hide because uh, i've completed the mate i want to move to the next level which is base level two then three then four all right so forth um then i want maze two to show so when this is clicked i want you to hide and when i receive message one I want you to show. Let's see that works. Um, okay, let me go upside down, side upside down. Uh, let me go like that. Let me complete the maze quickly. Okay, there you go. That works. Uh, just uh, let me just quickly position this. That'll be there. Let me make this greater. Make that bigger. All right. Uh, cost you to move. Fill this color with the blue. So I'm just gonna get the blue out there. Um, can I get the blue? All right, I'm gonna fill it. In. Okay, same thing. Now you're gonna add another green line over here. Maybe make this control Z. Maybe make this a dark green in color. All right, and um when the ball is touching uh, okay and also when this happens i want this to go to the start i want this ball i want the maze to go to the back okay to just repeat this so i want the ball to go uh, where's the ball i want the ball to come to the front come on come to front come to front all right and i want this ball to now come over here and let me make the balls even smaller. Alright. And that position I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to put another one of this. But now when it is touching this darker green. I want you to broadcast another message. New message. I'm going to broadcast two. And then... Um, I want maze 3 to show up. Uh, and you know, just, just do that. And you will eventually be ended up with a game that looks like this. Alright. Um, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Scratch. In the next episode, I'm going to work a little more on the maze game. Just quickly finish it up because I'm running out of time. I can only record for 15 minutes. 
and that 15 minutes is almost done so i'll see you in the next video